Hello, Toy fans. It's Roberto here doing another unboxing, and this time it is the WWE Superstars from Mattel. And this is the uh, the final member of the original uh, NWO. This is Hollywood Hulk Hogan, um, a character when at the time when this when this happened broke broke my heart because I was a Hulkamaniac through and through. Um, even even uh, as as I grew older. Cause this probably this happened. I want to say I was, I was uh, probably a teenager or whatever, and um, with the NWO. And let me tell you, like I, I was I was still a Hulk maniac, uh, saying my prayers, eating my vitamins, and uh, but what a, what a betrayal! It was uh, it was it was so great, uh, such a great time to be a pro wrestling fan. So, anyways, um, you can see it's got the classic Hulk pose in the background. It says it includes the NWO gear. This was Hollywood Hulk Hogan, uh, his uh, evil persona when he was the leader of the NWO, the Third Man, just like part of the part of the the greatest betrayal in in wrestling history. Uh, says you know, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, when you're NWO, you're NWO for life. Too sweet. What you gonna do when the New World Order? runs wild on you just just wild stuff to to even think that the name of the group was the new world order and they they were uh <laughs> not the new wrestling order the new world order so that that really uh, got me but um honky tonk man hollywood hogan rick flair and bray wyatt were a part of this set this was the uh the first uh set i think the inaugural set of the yeah, series one of the WWE Superstars line from Mattel. So let's take a look at how these uh how this figure is and I'm pretty sure I know how it's gonna be because I've already opened a couple and turns out I've played with uh Remco and <laughs> what do you call it? Masters of the Universe figures all my life. So I uh I think I think it's outside of uh it falling apart, uh, it's gonna be a win, because I just, uh, oh, losing my knife here, oh man, let's see what's going on here, probably gonna swap, swap out the blade, but, um, whatever, worry about that later, let's see if we can get this guy out, without doing, uh, too much damage to the card art, because I like to keep it, let's see, alright, see in the background I think they use the same uh, fans in each of the picks where it's just the uh, generic cartoony fans and then we got like the uh, larger than life superstars looking a little more human like I said and uh, I think they could have been a little more uh, cartoony characters um, for the for the actual wrestlers themselves but you know whatever um, see the package is uh, gets the job done it's kind of a uh, homage to the old LGN packages of with the um, the original rubber figures from the uh, from the 80s um, let's see where are we with getting this guy out hmm but yeah the Hulkster uh, <laughs> yeah I don't gotta tell you about the NWO if uh, one of the one of the greatest storylines uh, at the beginning in in all of wrestling. So, um, so if you're a fan, you know. If not, uh, go watch it. You know, <laughs> go look at uh, Peacock or YouTube or whatever you're using to watch old footage of uh, WCW. But this is <laughs> this is great. Wow, like um, he's got an end of a uh, soft goods NWO shirt on. Does uh does the bandana? Oh, it does. Wasn't expecting that. It's got Hollywood bandana that seems to come off. Can it focus a little bit? There we go. It says Hollywood. He's got a rubber band around his head. Looks like it's uh, keeping the glasses in place for now. They were definitely true to the aging Hulk Hogan's hairline in this version of the figure, which is which is nice. I like to see the accuracy. Um, he did not have a 
full head of hair when he was leading the uh, the NWO. He was kind of in the uh, the twilight of his career of of his of his prime at the very least. He was he was already past it, but like he still he still knew how to work a crowd, and that's all he needed. Um, he's got the uh, NWO. What do you call it? Uh, not the Hollywood Hogan uh, weight belt on, which uh, he definitely would use as a weapon in his matches, which was uh, great. He's got these, uh, you know, well, great for great for the fans of the Hulkster, but you know, oh man, these boots are great. He's got, it's, uh, I don't think I've ever seen these in this scale before, but he's got the uh, the thunder and lightning. Uh, Hulk Hogan, NWO, like a mural of himself. Uh, <laughs> the boots are great. It's even got the NWO on the inside. So the, this is uh, this is really good. I am uh, very impressed. Now, let's see. He's got the what looks like a shirt that can tear open, so you can do the classic Hogan. Pulls open the t-shirt from the front. Um, Pre-cut. And. Let's see. What happens when I take these glasses off? Famous famous last thing I should have ever done. Is to take off the glasses. Um, but, yeah. Let's see. Well. Let's take a look. Let's see what is his face. Um, I think I like it better with the glasses on. But, you know, whatever. It's still, it's still pretty good. Um, it, it looks like the Hulk, the, <laughs> the painted on five o'clock shadow is always good. The colored, <laughs> that was what's always was most ridiculous was just how his, his uh, facial hair was, was jet black and his, and everything else, his mustache and his actual hair was still bleach blonde. Just, just heel through and through nothing. Nothing not bad about this guy. <laughs> Hollywood Hogan was was amazing. Um, then, stands pretty well. He also comes with, wouldn't be Hogan on top if he didn't have a world championship. And there it is. He's got the spray painted NWO uh, WCW world championship. Which, uh, it surprised me they never really did a, a NWO world championship. They just took... The WCW Championship, uh, the flare belt, the big, big gold, and just painted it. Um, I, even back then, I thought because because WWF was doing the uh, the alternate like the custom belts for for Stone Cold and uh, Stone Cold and The Rock, so you could have done you could have done an NWO belt because. I always thought they it like they did a couple pay per views. It was like the sold out pay per views, which was the NWO pay per view. But they should have gone all out and had some had some alternate NWO belts. I think and that would have been been pretty cool. Um, then what else we got in here? Looks like we got a couple alternate hands, maybe. Um, but yeah, he's he came with enough. And like I've said in the other couple videos. Um, I didn't get into these line, this line when it came out because I thought the price point was too high. Um, it's like you know, twenty bucks, twenty five bucks, whatever it was at the time. I just remember scanning them and just being like, nah. Like looking at the figure in the package, like I felt like it was trying to exploit me. To be honest, like um, the nostalgia of these figures, which I love, like I love, but like at the same time, there were other figures in the same scale from the same company for like ten to fifteen dollars. And then you come out with this one that's like 20 and it's like, why? Why is this so much more? Um, but I think it was, you get a little bit more with the, with the soft goods. And I've, <laughs> let me tell you, I don't know. I'm just, I am very biased with the style of figures. So it could, it might, it might be worse than I think it is. But I really think it's uh, a lot of fun and really cool. So um, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying them. And the fact that I got them, all the ones I've picked up have been, in the ten dollar price range, so just on sale, uh, a couple under, I think eight dollars. I think I got an eight and nine dollar figure, but uh, so far so good. Um, but I have picked up a couple more, and they were closer or over 
the price I thought I would pay. So we'll see how that goes. But these, for what I paid for them, I thought have been amazing. He has also a couple of couple of fists, gloved fists. That's that's pretty cool because I don't know. Maybe the Bray Wyatt has gloved uh, fist as well. Can't really tell. But I don't know if those are only for the Hulk. But that's that's really cool. Um, but I like he's got to he's got to play the uh, he's got to play the old um, NWO belt uh, music, you know. So can't can't have the fist just yet until he's gonna get in a match. But with his uh, with his cohorts, with uh, <laughs> hey yo, it's the bad guy, and and big sexy Kevin Nash. Um, this <laughs> the NWO is complete. For my, uh, for, for my display, and I I couldn't be happier. This is this is awesome. Like honestly, um, even in package when I, even picking them up for cheap, even in package before I before they arrived, I was like I don't know. Like, uh, do I need an NWO? Um, another set of NWO figures because I've got, I've got a couple sets of NWO figures already in a, um. In this style, because to me, this style is uh, late '80s, early '90s for toys, and NWO wasn't till late late '90s, and it kind of conflicts with, uh, you know, I lived it, so this is you know, it's not fake retro for me. Like I, I was there, so I knew what these were like. Um, but this is, uh, <laughs> but but I love it. Like it's. It's what I think. What I experienced, what I really liked with the Masters of the Universe, uh, WWE Masters of the Universe uh, figures, was there was something new and something fun, and adding new characters to a line that I that I loved, um, and just new options. It turns out I I want more. I didn't know it, but um, this is very cool. And as long as I can get them uh, for a decent price, I probably will. But I've been pretty deep now. What is this? Uh, Five figures. I don't know. I don't know if it's going back. I don't know if the wallet's gonna gonna like what I'm gonna do next to it. But the the buy-in price has been decent, um, below MSRP, and I've been, I've enjoyed it. Um, I'm a big I'm a big shill for all the characters that I've shown off so far. Uh, is uh, for all his flaws. I love the Hulk Hogan character. Um, real real life person. Don't know. Uh, doesn't probably probably not the best but uh as a as a character hero and villain i thought he was great so um anyways this is um a pretty cool pretty cool figure seems like he's got the same articulation he's from wave one so i would think that they could do worse uh as the waves go on but um he's pretty good and let me let me see if they're missing anything else other than the lightning bolts on the actual pants. I'm for sure the weight belt comes off. I don't think I want to try and fit the title over the weight belt. Probably can do it. Um, maybe if I move it a little bit higher even. Up his, up his, uh, yeah. Looks like, it actually seems to be. Snapping in way easier than I thought. So I just kind of got to move move uh, the belt up a little bit higher over the other belt. And you can fit them both on at the same same time. So uh, he's, he's Hogan two belts with, uh, with that action. And let's see. Do the... Oh, everything falls. Do the fist come out easy? That came out easy enough. Did the swap. So you can punch in the mouth. So you do, oh, oh, most importantly, oh, let me take the belt off. I have to see if he can do the most important bit of business. Um, can he kick Flair in a stupid face and, and then drop, do the leg drop? And looks like he can. Um, Piper is going to say it's never happening to me. 
<laughs> I think it actually did in WCW eventually, but the original run in WWF, uh, Piper was not, not, was protecting himself pretty well. But anyways, uh, NWO Hollywood Hogan, pretty great, pretty great. So um, I think he's still on sale on the Walmart website if you can still snag him. If you don't have him, uh, I recommend. Um, it's like I, I have a lot of Hogan figures, so I'm, I'm a bit biased. Um, do I need a, Did I need another NWO Hogan figure? Probably not. But if I'm uh, if I'm getting into something and the price is right, I'm probably going to buy it. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this figure in particular. Um, what are your favorites in the line? Who are you? Who are you hunting now? Um, do you do you think do you get weirded out the same way I do by like? Uh, like stuff like this, like I, this was a retro, like a fake retro line with characters from different eras. Kind of, kind of weird me out a little bit, but still, I, I still love it. So, anyways, I love all everything wrestling, so it's not, uh, not that big a deal. Anyways, uh, see you next time. Bye.